Hello guys, how's everybody doing? Um, I'm back. Take 5 Gaming with more GTA 3. And I'm about to get into it. So, what I've been doing without having been recording was I've just been getting like the packages and everything like that. So I got 31 out of 100. And let's just get into it today. Me and the fellas need to talk business, so you're going to look after my girl for the evening. Hey, Maria, move your butt. Dumb bro does this every time. And here she is, the one and only Queen of Sheba. What were you doing up there? Whatever it was, I bet it cost me money. Well, you don't think I hang around here for the conversation, do you? Get in the car and keep your big mouth shut. Take the limo, but bring it back in one piece, you hear me? And watch her. She can be trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure your new lapdog has everything covered. And isn't he big and strong? Hey, Fighter, let's go visit Chico and get some party treats. He's at the rail station at the Chinatown waterfront, I think. You know what's crazy? Uh, Maria's like one of the most hated characters in GTA. <laughs> like, legitimately, no one likes her. Alright, let's uh, get into this. This is the mission I think where she uh, she robs the stores, if I'm not mistaken. And you have to like defend her or something. Oh uh, man. But uh, get into that Leone part where uh, you better get if you're trying to do 100% in this game on the first island and do those jumps and whatever, you better do it now because it gets, it gets harder. Cause I think we only saw the shotguns, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, mira, it's my favorite lady. You looking for some fun? A little fruit or spank? Hey, Chico. Nah, just the usual. Here you go, lady. Hey, maybe you should check out the warehouse party at the east end of Atlantic Keys. Mm, thanks, Chico. See you around. Gracias. And enjoy. That's good stuff. I think so. It might not be now, but I know you do like she just goes around now and gets to her drugs or whatever. I could have sworn it's a time when she uh when she like rob a store like she robs a store or something like that. Oh yeah, I gotta be careful in this area because uh I have beef with the uh, triads because of this stuff. I think you get beef with them right after you meet, right before you meet, um, Tony. I think it's after you do the, uh, the first Tony mission, you actually have, uh, beef with them when they shoot them with the, uh... Oops, sorry. Oh, I remember this one. You're gonna get, uh, a wanted level. So the best thing to do is to angle this car this way. I do not remember where the bribes are. I normally just go to their paint and sprays anyway. That's the one thing that's clear. That's the one thing is, uh, I just forget so much about where the uh like police driver is. Oh this <laughs> dude got in the car and got the hell out of there. Hey man. Cops are just, like I swear like Grand Theft Auto 3 and like Vice City and San Andreas, the cops were so aggressive. Like, you think they are aggressive in five. It's just like, you had no chance in this one. No chance. But I do know about the bribe and the, uh... 
You see that? Like, bro. Like, mission longer than it has to be. to the Neonis mansion. mission because now it's the, sh the chaperones with Maria I think after I cannot remember I think it is I think the next time is the uh she starts to rob people Saboteur mission. Leave us alone for a minute. The Colombian cartel is making spank somewhere in Liberty, but we don't know where. And they seem to know everything we're doing before we do. We got us a rat. There's a guy named Curly Bob who works the bar at Luigi's. He's been throwing more money around than he's earning. He ain't pimping or pushing, so he must be talking. He usually gets a taxi home after work. So follow him, and if he's ratting us out, kill him. All right. Uh, no, come on, no cars. All right, we go find me a car. Some of the things these pedestrians be these uh, saying NPCs is just ridiculous. I think we gotta make our way down to the docks if I'm not mistaken. It's the docks, right? No, paint and spray. Oops, sorry. to make that turn. Two car lengths, you have to stay behind them. Tailing missions. Oh, wait, 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 w
took a cab to yeah, he dropped something at the docks. Yeah, these missions they just bring me back. Like, oh my god, playing this stuff again? As a kid, it took me so long to beat GTA 3. So long to beat GTA 3 Vice City. I was stuck on missions forever. Because the hard missions don't come up. I feel like the harder missions really aren't until like the second island. Gets up at the docks, and then you have to follow to him around. Here comes our little friend, Mr. Big Mouth himself. Were you followed? You know what goes on here is our little secret, I No, no, I, I wasn't followed. You got my stuff? Here's your spank, Squealer. Now talk. Okay, so the Leones are fighting wars on two fronts. They're in a turf war with the triads, with no sign of either side giving up. Meanwhile, Joey Leone has stirred up some bad blood with the Ferrellis. Every day they're losing men and influence in the city. Salvatore has become a dangerous and paranoid. He expects everybody and everything. And with loyalty like yours, what has he possibly got to worry about? Well... I think he has a shotgun too. Easy. Yeah, he had a shotgun. What's up with like all the NPCs normally like having shotguns in this? Let's just uh, knock off this Tony mission real quick. First it was the pimp with the uh, the shotgun. Now it's this dude with the shotgun. Why the hell would he have a shotgun? I mean, if anything, I would think he'd have a pistol on him. But a shotgun? Come on, bro. Let's just knock out this Tony mission. We're at war. The Triads have a fish factory as a front. Most of their business goes down at the fish market in Chinatown. The laundry still owes us protection. They reckon the Triads are protecting them now, so I say we exact a fitting punishment. Take those boys over and whack the Triad warlords. Hell, if you get a chance, pop some of their soldiers, too. Oh yeah, I forgot you have to take these dudes with you. Hold on. Hold on. If you see a dude with like two like mafia dudes with him, how would you try to take your car back, sir? Like the car at that point, the car is just over. You can have the car. And hey, most of the shit ain't gonna get out of your car on. It's just, just run they up, run them over. Keep it moving. Like, that's a, I think this one you have to get you to get out of your car. I guess that's payback for what the Leon is gonna do to you in the uh, in the uh, 
I want to say post game, but it's like legit after you get off this first island, it's just it's all hell. So once you come back over here, it's just like bad news bears. I'm not sure they still, they only still have their shotguns. That's what I'm not like 100% on. I seen them walking around with pistols and that's it, but I don't know if they still have their shotguns. Simple and then I think the last mission with Tony blow this place again. I could be totally wrong, but I do remember like you blow this place up. All out war. So literally in this mission all you need to do is just get a car. But don't do what I did. Make sure you have the uh, the triad truck, the fish truck before you go to the uh, thing, so you don't have to go around looking for it. Come on, you! Here we go. Okay, I've had enough of this shit. We're gonna finish the triads in Liberty once and for all. Eight balls rigged a dust cart with a bomb. It's on a timer. So if you mess up, there'll be no evidence. Go and pick up the dust cart. Careful. Eight balls says it's real sensitive. And the slightest bump could set that thing off. Their fish factory will open its gates for a dust cart. So you can drive right in. Park up between the gas canisters and get the hell out of there. I want it to rain mackerel. We're talking real biblical here. Nothing low budget. It's that part and you blow it up. You know what I don't understand though? This is me. Why didn't you just do that in the last mission? Like you could have took them out and did the whole like explosion thing and like one let me just shut up. <laughs> I don't know, you could have just did all that in one mission instead of going back. Like you legit could have took the uh oh the timer is back. You legit could have took the uh the commanders out and then you could have just rigged the place. I don't know, maybe I'm thinking too far into it. To make our way there. I wish I could listen to the music right now, but you all know how that goes. I'm not following this. I feel like the way. Time missions. <laughs> I don't think. I don't really think like the, the time missions really like a the three D universe by, by GTA's. Like, I don't remember like time missions being in like a whole bunch of other like, GTA's. I think they did it in. Four. It's been like years since I played four. Um, I'm trying to remember, did they bring it back in four? I don't think five had any time missions. I could be wrong on that. I 
I better get clear. Yeah, all the weapons I got, like, I got this getting one of the packages on the roof. Beginning. Cop car. AK, I showed you guys where to get that. Micro, I've been had that since I got it out of the uh, thing. Ammunition. But if you get 30 packages, you get the pistol, you get grenades, and you get that, the uh, micro SMG. So you don't have to keep going to ammunition. I think 40 gives you armor. No, I think, uh, crap, it's been so long. I think 40 gives you the shotgun. I know that last when you get a hundred, you get the rocket launcher. We're gonna do more of this dude's missions. Let's go do Mr. Leone's missions. Shotgun was just so OP in this game. I'm not sure if they dialed it down, but that shotgun was so freaking OP. Like when I mean OP, I mean two shots and your car is basically like on fire. Three shots was like an instant detonation. Alright, uh, let's start this up. We should take these Colombian bastards out, but while we're at war with the triads, we ain't strong enough. The cartel has got bottomless funds from pushing that spank crap. If we make an open attack on them, they'll wipe the floor with us. They must be making spank on that big boat that Curly led you to. So we gotta use our heads, or rather one head, your head. I'm asking you to destroy that spank factory as a personal favor to me, Salvatore Leone. If you do this for me, you will be a made man. Anything you want. Go and see Eight Ball. You'll need his expertise to blow up that boat. I hated this mission as a kid. You have to snipe them while eight ball basically does all the uh, the heavy lifting, basically. So you have to defend eight ball while he basically goes into the uh, the ship to blow it up. Now you have to t test out how the sniper is. We're getting closer and closer to that Leone uh, mission. I think it might be the last mission you do. I think maybe he has like a like two missions left or so. All right, hey, well, let's do this. I think you need ten thousand dollars to do this. Yo, my man. Salvatore phoned ahead, but a job like this is gonna need a lot of fireworks. I'll need $100,000 to cover expenses. But you know, with me, you get a lot of bang for your buck. Come back, brother, when you have the money. Yeah, easy way to get the money. Um, I just do a lot of like the taxi missions and the firefighter missions and everything. Okay, let's do this then. I can set this baby to detonate, but I still can't use a piece with these hands. Here, this rifle shall help you pop some heads. Yeah, that's the best thing I can tell you to do if you want to, if you don't have the money right now. Which you should, because of the missions, gives you a lot. They give you like ten thousand plus. But if you were kind of uh. Like low on funds, the best activities you can really do is the t taxi missions and the firefighter missions, which will give you like a good, a decent amount. But you get the bonuses as well for if you do like ten in a row and whatnot, you get like an extra two or three thousand. So let's make our let's make our way over there and hope I can still snipe. Cause I remember this mission was like one of the hardest missions. Cause you have to, I 
think we still have to go up top while he stays on the bottom. Snipe the two dudes on the... Get a good vantage point, then I'll head in when you fire the first shot. Freaking hate this mission, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. It took me so many attempts. I'm not sure how the sniping is now. I wish you could have just went on there with him and just defend him while you're on the ship. I think it would have been a little bit more simpler and easier that way. You don't want to get seen by these guys in the front. I think that's everybody. I think it's done. Get your money back plus fifty thousand so. dollars. All right, so let's go do one more Miss Leone's missions. That's the one thing about that mission is just like freaking eight ball could die so fast in that one mission. actually one of my favorite cars in uh, the Cartel Jeep. I just love the sound of it. Alright, let's go. It's my favorite cleaner. I'm proud of you, my boy. You kicked the shit out of those grease balls. I just got one little job for you before we can all celebrate. There's a car around the block from Luigi's Club. The inside is covered in brains. We gotta help some guy make up his mind and it proved a little uh, messy. Take it to the crusher before the cops find it. I think regardless you get a want to level on this. It should, it's not, that's the one thing about these missions. It sounds so easy until you actually do the missions and you're like, what the hell just happened here? Like, you have to be so accurate in that, uh, when you start sniping in that eight ball mission, cause if you don't, if you're not, it's just, it's gonna be a bad time overall. And I kinda wish, uh, one thing I would say, I kinda wish eight ball played more of a heavily, uh, 
No, I can't talk right now. More of a heavy role in uh, GTA 3 because he seemed to be like the only like real friend to Claude. Don't get that car. Whatever you do, do not get that car. Cause um, you only actually if you got got get into that car, what's gonna happen is you're gonna wind up blowing up and dying, and you start that mission from the uh, top again. So you go here. Which the whole reason um, uh, Leone basically wants you dead is because Maria basically has been telling them like you, Claude and husband dating and everything like that. So you basically don't want to get into that car that he gives you. Listen, Salvatore thinks that we're going behind his back. So he was offering you to the cartel in order to make a deal. I couldn't let him do that. I mean, the worst thing is it's all my fault because I told them we were an item. Don't ask me what. I don't know. Look, you're a marked man on the mafia turf, and I've got to get out of here, too. I've seen too much killing, too much blood. I... This is a friend of mine, okay? She's an old friend. It's, it's just so good. She's someone we can trust. And enough of the speeches. We better get out of here before we get more hysterical Italians wanting less friendly reunions. Yup, so now you're basically can't show your face back here yet until that one mission so there's going to be a mission with the uh with them in which you have to kill Salvatore which is kind of justified because he did try to kill Claude first but uh you know it is what it is Asuka and I are gonna have to talk. Uh, why don't you go cruise around? You'll need a place to lie low. There's a warehouse at the edge of Belleville that should suit your needs. Come back here to my condo when you're ready, and you and me can have a little chat. Yep, so now, uh, the Leone, Mr. Leone is trying to kill you. So, um, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Take care and drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next part. Later. Peace out.